Hey guys, welcome to another episode on your favorite channel. So for today, I would like to teach you how to deal with this uh, pull down and pull up resistors. Uh, first of all, uh, what uh, are these used for? Well, first, let me tell you that in these kinds of circuits, in uh, low or uh, small current uh, uh, circuits, there is always some kind of uh, leftover charge. And these leftover charge uh, are usually very problematic uh, when you uh, deal with sensors and things of that sort. So let me explain you what you have in here. Uh, I'm uh, supplying uh, this uh, circuit uh, with my ESP32. Uh, uh, and in here you can uh, see 3.3 uh, volts uh, connected, uh, ground uh, pin uh, connected. And here I am dealing with P16, P17 and P5. Here uh, I have this uh, purple wire connected to green diode from uh, pin uh, 16. From uh, pin uh, 17, this blue wire is connected uh, to uh, red diode. Uh, and this uh, green wire uh, that is uh, testing pin P5, it's uh, connected uh, to uh, this uh, button. So what the code uh, from uh, this uh, ESP32 actually is doing? Uh, it's a uh, testing charge uh, on uh, P5 pin and if uh, receive a uh, high, it's going to uh, turn uh, this red diode. If uh, receives a uh, uh, low, it's going to turn uh, this uh, green diode, you see. Uh, and how I'm going to control that uh, with this uh, button. So, uh, if I uh, press this button and I'm uh, going to hold it, you see we have a red diode uh, blinking. And now I'm going to release that button. And uh, from time to time, uh, you could uh, get uh, wrong readings. So, for example, this uh, red diode uh, could uh, start uh, uh, blinking on uh, low readings or uh, this uh, green diode could start uh, blinking or uh, high readings. And the reason for all of that is actually that leftover uh, charge. Uh, and uh, how to deal with that? Let me show you two ways. First of all, uh, there is a pull down resistor. What pull down resistor actually does? Pull down resistor uh, pulls uh, all of uh, your uh, charges uh, away to the ground. How to do that? Well, I'm going to uh, put my... Uh, now, you could see that we got uh, red blinking without reason. Uh, and now again. Okay. Uh, and now again. So, you see... And now we have red diode constantly blinking and green now. Uh, so uh, you see how that uh, leftover charge affects our reading. Uh, results are getting chaotic. And in order to prevent that, what I'm going to do? I'm going to put this 10K resistor and I'm going to connect it to the ground like this. And I'm going to connect ground <laughs> once again. So uh, now uh, every uh, leftover charge in, is going to uh, be uh, pulled uh, through this resistor to the ground. And we should not have uh, this uh, chaotic reading problem. And now if I press this button, you see we have a red diode uh, blinking. And if I uh, let this uh, button away, green again. Let's test it again, and again, and again. And doesn't matter how many times you test it, it's going to work perfectly. So whenever you have some chaotic reading in uh, small uh, current uh, circuits, uh, think about these uh, pull down or pull up resistors. And uh, how to implement a pull up resistor? It's actually quite easy to, uh, instead of uh, Pulling down, we are going to pull everything up. So reconnect this to 3.3 volts. But now we are going to get red diode constantly blinking. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to replace this connection to the ground. 
And now, whenever I uh, press this button, I'm going to get a green diode blinking. So as you notice, not every solution works uh, in uh, every case. Uh, sometimes you are going to need uh, pull-up resistors and sometimes you are going to need pull-down resistor. Depends uh, on your uh, current situation. Uh, so that's all for now, guys. I hope that you have uh, learned something and that you like this content. See you around.